For over nine centuries, a village is said to have been built far north of Oti region in Ghana. Shiari is the name, also known as the Hangen village. The name Hangen village was given to them by Europeans due to how far apart they were from the rest of the people within the region many years ago. The people of Shiari are Guans and speak Achude. Living in a very unique style, their houses made of rocks and clay are built in a terrace formed along the contour of the mountain. The people of Shiari, notably traditionalists, also have Christians living among them. The only church in the village the Holy Family Catholic Church started about 75 years ago by early Catholic missionaries who came to the village with the aim of spreading the gospel. And in the quest of this, helped build a school for the village. Department of Social Welfare, Regional Boss, Director, uh, St. Francis, Sharing Nya Heri, St. Francis Training College, Hawaii. The prevalent occupation in Shiari is farming, and it will surprise you to know how far they climb up and down the hills just to and fro their farms. They are indeed hardworking people. Aside farming, they also have convenient shops where beverages and other daily necessities are sold. And oh, they do produce honey too. Pure honey, no additives whatsoever. Fufu made with yam is their favorite delicacy and it is pounded in a very unique way with about two to three people together. Shiari has a beautiful waterfall which serves as the only source of water for the village. The waterfall, unlike other waterfalls in Ghana, is void of plastic materials and other waste. It takes one about 40 minutes to trek from the village through hilly path to the falls but the journey is worth it as the scenery is not only beautiful but breathtaking and the breeze is refreshing. Wondering why they bury the dead? Well, it will depend on the social status of the person. The elderly are mostly buried in rooms of their homes while others are buried in the village. There's no fear in this. We actually slept in rooms which had people buried in them and it was just normal. Among the beautiful things you see in Shiari, they do have challenges too. Their only source of water, which is from the falls, channeled through a stream, is what they drink and wash from cook with and use for other purposes. The distance as well as the path leading to the stream isn't convenient and this is a cause for concern to the people. <laughs> Okay. 
In addition to the water problem, they've lived so many years without a health facility. When they suffer injuries or fall ill, they have to travel to the closest town in Kwanta for treatment. They also lack first aid kits as well as health practitioners who at least can attend to victims before full medical treatment is available. They do lack toilet facilities which makes them defecate in close by bushes and when it rains, the feces are washed down the hill into their only source of water, contaminating it. There isn't any road that leads up the hill to the village. The only option is a rocky path. This makes emergency situations very difficult to handle. Level of education in Chiari is very low as there are no senior high schools as well as training facilities in their locality and even with their basic school they lack appropriate facilities to enhance their learning process. One thing to note is that Chiari is fortunate to have electricity however with the development of technology worldwide Telecommunication has become a daily necessity in our lives. Yet, the people of Shiari lack good communication network. Even the only spot in the entire village noted to have signal for placing and receiving calls isn't entirely reliable. And there have been instances where people have to climb trees just to have network to place a phone call. For years now, Many people who have visited Shiari gave them hope to come back and help solve some of their challenges, but these stillborn promises never see the light of day. Due to this, the people of Shiari are somewhat hostile toward visitors, and this became a challenge for us. The leaders of the village didn't allow us to cover much during our visit, which negatively affected our work. Upon interaction with them, we identified water to be one of their major challenges. In that regard, we want to make a difference by helping provide potable water for the village and we will need your help to do so. Kindly donate any amount you can to help support this worthy cause. Every donation would be accounted for. Donations can be made through the details on the screen. The church also appeals for your support to help raise their church building. You can also donate to the church through the same means. Thank you. Oh,